knows where the guy is. So since his prediction was false, can his believers sue him for damages? Here to debate, federal practitioner attorney Joseph Collada and civil attorney Angel Reyes. Nice to have both of you here this morning. Angel, I'll start with you. Do these followers have a right to sue this guy for leading them down this path? I think they absolutely have a right to sue this uh, Mr. Camping, and I'll tell you why. In the past, when people uh, have been uh, inculcated by cults, the cults have been able to be sued, both individually and the organization, in order to get what they put into the cult back out of the cult. So in this case, I think that these particular people that have followed him, I'm not talking about the general public now, I'm talking about just his followers, I think they have a right to sue him based on a similar precedent in other cases that have happened in the past. Joseph, does this rise to the level of cult status? After all, he was a Christian preacher and a group of Christian followers, so does it, it doesn't necessarily fall to the level of cult status, does it? No, absolutely not, and I, I don't think there can be any viable cause of action against this uh, preacher. You have to ask yourself, what is it that he's doing? He's engaged in protected free speech conferred uh, by the First Amendment of the United States Constitution upon every person living in the United States. His speech is absolutely not not illegal. Uh, and, and Angel, I'm going to read some Twitter comments to ah. you because you seem to support this. You said uh, the uh, Hyber, Hyber Hillbilly writes this on Twitter. He says, sue the wacko pastor, then we'd be able to sue Reverend Wright and a number of other individuals for the same sorts of things. They shouldn't be allowed to sue individuals for freedom of speech. I mean, after all, doesn't this fall under freedom of speech? Well, it does, but this is a little bit different. And the reason is that people have detrimentally relied on him on him. People have sold their houses, people have sold their cars, people have emptied their bank accounts, all in anticipation of six o'clock yesterday. And so they've been harmed financially and as a result they have a right to sue the uh, the pastor and his organization because of that. Yeah, Joseph, it's what fraud, about that? I mean, basically. there's harm involved here. Some people moving up, uh, moving up, uh, quitting their jobs, moving to Orlando, Florida, getting rid of all their worldly possessions. They're harmed by this guy in a way. Uh, it, it, people have, uh, I, I suppose, taken actions uh, to their detriment, but I, I guess you need to ask yourself, uh, under what theory? I suppose if you're relying on a contract theory, uh, these people are relying on, on what this preacher says, there's an expectation, you argue for reliance damages, there's no offer and acceptance, uh, there's no privity of contract, yeah. uh, there, it's absolutely not actionable. Well, we got some Twitter followers saying, wow, they woke up this morning to find Fox and Friends. The world didn't end. Angel Joseph, nice to have you on the show this morning. Thanks for the debate. Thank you for having me. Thank you for and having us. Let me know what us. you think about all of this and Clayton Morris on Twitter. Coming up here on the show,